What's up mga kalabistak? Dito tayo sa bagong episode and we're going to talk about the disease This is very devastating and a very important disease None other than the liver fluke so, What is liver fluke? So liver fluke is a internal parasite which primarily habitates or, or lives in the liver of the animal specifically on the bile ducts so what what are the signs of the animal infected with liver fluke the signs include the bottle jaw or the enlarging of the jaw area of the our animal either cow carabao goat or sheep it also includes the weight loss and also anemia uh, and also the animal exhibits emaciation it it is very thin even though that it eats well what are the effects of liver fluke infestation in our livestock one of the effects of the liver fluke infestation is that our animals became weak they become unprofitable it, it exhibits low birth rates inefficient feed conversion slow growth poor quality of milk and meat and the hide or the hair or the wool becomes rough or brittle ano ba yung life cycle no? what is the life cycle of the liver fluke so, the infected animal passes the eggs through its feces and the egg eventually finds its way to the ground and the the embryos needs intermediate host which are, which are the snails no? dun sila nagde-develop sa snails to become the first stage larva so napaka essential ng mga snails sa development ng liver fluke no? kasi dun sila nag it's the start as the first stage larva so then the snails travel to the grassy areas huh? especially in the wet grassy areas so then the the snail carries the transmits the first stage larvae the first stage larvae transforms then into cyst huh? yung mga cyst they will then attach to the grass or float in the water waiting to be consumed by our animal either the cow or carabao in the philippines the carabao are tethered in swampy areas water caltrop areas when the cysts are consumed the immature larvae migrates towards the bile duct and damaging the areas along the way in the liver no? pag nakapasok na yung mga immature na larvae they damage the liver heading towards the bile duct no? para dun sila mag mature and this mature flux then lays eggs on the bile duct and the eggs are then passed to the feces no? cycle continues when the eggs are passed to the feces and the feces falls to the ground starting the cycle again so what are the treatment no? dun tayo <laughs> ano ba yung treatment sa liver fluke so the main isa lang yung babanggitin ko yung the main treatment of liver fluke is triclabendazole because it is able to kill all the stages of the liver fluke some dewormers only kill the adult some dewormers only kill the immature the best is the triclabendazole so it kills all the stages so, ano ba yung gagawin natin as a prevention or precautionary measures or para maiwasan yung mga liver flux so, number one is to avoid tethering or grazing our flock or our herd or animals in snail infested and wet swampy areas in the pasture no? so pag hindi nyo ma 
ma avoid we focus on pasture management so i-drain yung mga water plug area sa pasture para hindi mag-infest yung snails so more on pasture management and if sa mga tethering system so avoid tethering your animal in wet grassy areas so especially when you see a large presence of snails pag nakita nyo na maraming snails sa area wag nyo i-tether yung mga alaga nyo dun so it affects cow, cattle, goats and sheep dun sa dito sa setting sa Philippines so that's about it so thank you for sharing thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing shout out to my son Jalil and to the to my lovely wife so see you in the next video as always glory to God